Here we are for a really heavy letterbox edition of The Hunt for Red October with Alec Baldwin and Ellie. Was he the one that um, got in trouble for that thing? And um, Sean Connery. Now, the reason why is it's a long movie and it's going to be, oh, we can open this one up. See? Look at all this nice stuff to look at. You'll never get that again. Okay. Let's look at the back. You'll get some great stuff on the back, too. With pictures and stuff. Let's see. Um, oh, it's so hard to find. There we go. 135 minutes, 1990. Wow, this movie's that old now. So that's about 2000, 2010, 2020. It's 32 years old, this movie. And Sean Connery's, uh, yeah, he's not alive anymore. So that's that. James O. Jones is. It's sad when he, it's time for him to, you know, pass away because, um, He's a very talented guy, not just with um, Darth Vader. Okay. Um, he was good when he was in Field of Dreams. Here's um, the first disc. Take a look. Uh, they had to make them plastic. I don't understand why some of them are plastic and some of them are paper. It's beyond me. Maybe someone uses them. There's a reason for that. Very good quality. Um... In very good quality. Oh, I'm like, there's a tight, slight scratch up there, but that doesn't usually make a difference. And you know what? I don't really know what makes a difference. There's only one damaged laser disc I own, and it's called Fry Green Tomatoes. It came with the laser disc player when I bought it, along with a couple of um, Lethal Weapon movies. So I don't really know. I've had very good luck with them playing. I mean, no, a lot of these movies I don't even have on DVD. I think I have this on Blu-ray. But on a lot of these movies I don't. So it's not like I'm rebuying all of them. Okay. Go to the second side. Take a laser disc out. See what it looks like. Side three. Now this should have 61. This should only have three sides on it. That looks really good. That looks really good even though it's a non-programmable side. So this is a good laser disc if you want to buy this version because it has a nice book over here. With the whole picture to choose from. I mean you can't beat that. Nowadays you get a lousy Blu-ray that doesn't have anything on it. You want, and people are going to say, well I can go on Google and look at the pictures. Well good for you. Go go on Google. You can if you try to print them out yourself, you'll be wasting a lot of ink, color ink, and it won't look as good. Alright, well that's it, and um, bye-bye.